So I did a draw my life, sort of. Da 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 da. Except I didn't do it on a whiteboard. I did it here. So I can just take this down. So, you know, baby me. My mom and dad divorced when I was like three years old. I lived with my mom. Saw my dad every other weekend. My mom got remarried to my stepdad, then they had a baby. And, you know, I got stepdad and a new little brother, and then my mom passed away when I was like eight years old. That was rough. I had to go move with my dad, who was moving to a new state. So not only did I have to go to a new school, make new friends, I also had to start over with a new family, share a bedroom, do things that I wasn't used to because my mom had different rules and I lived with her and my stepdad. I had a new family, new school, new friends, new state, new rules and I was like, I had to share my room which I didn't before. It was just like, wow, too much in one ear. When I was with my mom, I did ballet, tap, and gymnastics. I wanted, I actually quit ballet and tap because I wanted to become an Olympic gymnast, but my mother freaked out for like, I don't even remember. It was felt like an hour. She gave me like every list in the year, like world, like, no, you can't do this because of this, this. And she was like, no way, my letting you do that. That's dangerous. And I'm like, okay, I'll stop asking her questions. Then when I lived at my dad's house, yeah, we didn't have a lot of money and I'll admit to it. And I was in special needs. But I did, because they did have tryouts for free for, like, um, softball and that's supposed to be a soccer ball and a basketball. My sister made me try out for cheerleading twice, once with our school, once with the church. And I thought, okay, I'll just, she begged me for, like, two days straight and then one of them was, like, for, like, a week. So I said, fine, I'll do it for you. I also had a pet cat, a pet fish. We had hermit crabs in my house. None of them were really mine, but they were like my brothers and sisters. And sometimes I had to help take care of them when they weren't home. And I and they would ask me, and you know, oh, could you take care of this? And I'll do your chore, get you this. And my uncle, I had to walk his dog a few times. Don't walk a dog that's bigger than you are in high heels. I was literally about to ready to go. I think I was on a date, but it got canceled. And my dad's like, can you walk the dog? And I'm like, I'm in heels. He's like, just go walk the dog. I know it's not yours, but can you just walk in? I'm like, fine. I was also in a couple of parades. I was in my church's parade in my hometown. I was in a few parades in Old Newcastle. And then I was in the Macy's Day Parade. And I'm not even sure if they recorded at that time because it was for Girl Scouts back in the day. Like, really back in the day. Like I said, I was in special needs from, like, first grade all the way to, you know, senior in high school. This one I'm sad to admit too, but I will say I was a teen mom. I got pregnant at the end of my junior year and was pregnant in the beginning of my senior year. So I was a teen mom in high school. I did graduate though, luckily because I moved with my grandma. One, because I didn't know if my parents could handle it. And two, they were just getting rid of all of their kids and I knew how much they wanted to have more alone time. I was like, well, that's not fair to them. And two, I don't know if they can handle having like one little baby in the house right now. So it was like, just one of those things they're just like I just so many issues and I was just trying to be cautious to them because I knew how long they've waited five kids all teenagers at once you they deserved a little break and not so much they weren't the greatest parents messed up mom and dad I love them but they weren't the greatest in the world but no parent is really technically the greatest in the world maybe I was a teen mom graduate high school in 2013 I went to college that was like tooth and nail fighting to get my 504 and stuff ready and trying to um make sure I did what I need to do to pass I also got my diploma from there and now I'm working towards my bachelor's degree I also did two uh, self-publish on Amazon my dream is to have one of my books published in like a book book form like Something like this, where you can go and buy it in like a bookstore, and I'd be freaking out to see it. But oh, my book is so here, I'm so happy, and that's so cool. And I start my YouTube channels, you know, the Venture Tears, my mommy and daughter talk time, and Kevin Butterscotch, my own channel. I do a lot of paintings. I'm trying to sell some of them. I hope they can. I start trying to sell things at the farmers market a little bit. I. I'm hoping to do more. I mean, I've been in parades. I've went, I've been horseback riding. Yes. I've been bowling. Yes. I've been 
ice skating, roller skating, yes and yes, sledding down a hill. Yes, I also been to a ski resort, but we went tubing because we weren't old enough to do skiing and snowboarding. Those two I haven't done, or like jumping out of an airplane or parachuting or indoor um, sky jumping. But I did like the biggest six when you were like a kid. I tried skateboarding, basketball. My brother tried to teach me how to play poker and pool. That was just a terrible idea. I couldn't, like, because of my learning disability, I just didn't grasp the rules very well. I'm like, what? Uh huh? Like, huh? What are you talking about? I don't understand this. So, it was harder than you would expect. Video games, you know, I've tried to play video games pretty much forever. I uh, crocheted a blanket this past year or so, and I'm so happy that I finally did it. I was like, oh, finally. It took me so long to really just. With my ADHD, I couldn't stay focused, so I was just like, oh, I did it. I, like, did two, so I was like, oh, I did two, yay. And I car crocheted a couple more things, which made me really happy. And I've been publishing, self-publishing on Amazon for a while now, getting more and more books out. Like, I only had one book up for, like, the longest time, and now I have, like, over probably 100 or 200 by now. So I'm really happy about that. I love my YouTube channel. It's one of my favorite things in the world to do. You know, I've been trying to get my music out there and try to, you know, like I saw my other channel. I'm trying to sing and write music. And if it's not the greatest right now, it's because I'm trying to self-teach myself how to play instruments and sing and stuff. If I could afford to get lessons, maybe one day I will. We'll see. I mean, it's one of those things that maybe if I had the chance to, I would. I've been to amusement parks, of course, and stuff like that. 